Hello everybody, it's Cobalt here, and welcome back to another video. If you've been keeping up with my most recent uploads on the channel, you probably know that I've been making a bunch of videos showing compilations of a bunch of LPS custom commissions that I've done recently. If you're interested in commissioning me, there is always a link in the description of my videos to my Etsy shop where you can do so. And of course, there's a link to my eBay as well if you want to check out any pre-mades I might have available at the moment. Anyways, this video is kind of in the same vein as those, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit and show you guys a bunch of trades and gifts that I have made for people in 2023. I would say most of these are from June and July over the summer, but a few of them are from December as well for Christmas gifts. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. This custom was part of a trade with Sin Customs over on Instagram. Basically for this trade, she sent me a couple regular LPS and then I made her a custom. So here is the custom that I made for her. It is of a character called D-Dog from Metal Gear Solid 5, I believe. I've never played that game before and I don't really know anything about it, but this is the character that she wanted me to make, so I happily made him. He is made from a Generation 2 Husky. It's like one of the standing Huskies with the open mouth. And then I sculpted his eye patch and some of his body armor. I just sculpted like a little bit on here. And then he has this knife as well because I saw that he had like a knife strapped to it in a couple of the reference photos. And then of course he is painted in my realistic style, trying to get him as accurate as possible. Even though this wasn't exactly a custom swap, you should still definitely go check out Sin's Instagram account because she makes so many amazing customs and I have actually purchased a custom from her before. If you want to watch the unboxing video, you can check it out up here. But either way, Sin, I hope you really like the custom, and I cannot wait for you to receive it. This custom is a gift that I made for my friend Tiki's LPS Customs over on Instagram. I'm sure you guys know who she is. I've made a couple videos unboxing customs from her, and she's also just a pretty big customizer in the community in general. So if you don't know who she is, definitely go check her out. Basically, with this custom, I wanted to make her a little thank you gift for letting me table with her at LPS Con. She purchased a vendor ticket to sell her own customs and then she offered if I wanted to you know take up a little space on the table to sell my own stuff and I really really appreciate that so I wanted to make a little custom to show Tiki my appreciation for her so basically what I decided to do was make a little baby version of her mascot she has these business cards with her LPS character on it it is based off of that LPS short hair cat and then she also has some little like paint splatters on it which I thought was adorable so instead of what I was originally going to do was taking just a normal short hair cat and doing that kind of thing I decided to make a little baby version and then I added the paint splatters on it as well this one was a lot of fun to make this custom took me not too long to make and it was very fun I think I got the colors pretty spot on and just all the paint splatters on it look really cute so there's a purple one here a blue one on the leg a green one on the front a orange or yellow one here and then a little pink one up there I just think that this custom looks adorable and I hope that Tiki really likes it and I'm so excited for LPS con this custom is part of yet another trade that I did with shifter anima over on Instagram this is the second time that I will be trading with them and I'm very very excited just like the last trade we didn't come up with a mood board or anything we sort of just came up with a theme and went from there so I chose the theme this time and I said that we should do something sort of like medieval or fantasy inspired and this was kind of something both out of our comfort zones like I'm really into medieval stuff but I feel like I never make customs inspired by that theme so because I also know that this person really likes cryptids and aliens and stuff like that I decided to make a little mothman knight character so I sculpted the little moth and and these two dots on his head. I sculpted this piercing and I sculpted this armor and these claws and of course this tail. It's pretty simple design wise with a lot of blacks and grays but I really wanted to you know play into the Mothman motif and make something cool while still giving it a lot of details and these shapes around the eyes kind of look like wings. They look more like bat wings than moth wings but I still thought that that was a nice touch and I really love the eyes as well. I didn't do this intentionally but the way that I painted them reminds me of the hellhound eyes in Hell of a Boss. I just thought that that was cool. It's a very interesting design choice and I also got this new silver paint that I used on the armor it's very very shiny and I love it a lot and overall I really like this guy he's made from a greyhound base I really hope that they like it and I will show this as well for the trade we are trading one custom here and then we're also trading like just a blank sculpted base so I took an ostrich sculpted a bunch of random shit on it and then they are going to take it and paint a whole bunch of stuff on it I have honestly no idea what this is I kind of just grabbed clay and stuck it wherever I thought it worked but you know it, it looks cool and of course you want to see everything that I received from the trade and go click up here and watch the unboxing video but I love this custom a lot glad he's going to a new home 
but I will definitely miss him because I think that he turned out really, really cool and I'm very proud of myself for coming up with this design idea. This custom is a gift for Voodoo Dreams LPS over on Instagram. She is a close friend of mine and I'm so excited to see her at LPS Con. Originally, this custom was actually going to be one of the LPS that I was going to be selling there. And you know what? I figured since she's probably going to try to buy it anyways, I would just give it to her as a gift. So it is this little clown possum. It is made from a ferret base. Another reason why I decided to just gift this one is because the base figure is a little bit damaged and I didn't really fix it as well as I should have. It's not super noticeable though. The only things that I sculpted on this LPS were the little party hat and of course the possum tail. It is a little clown possum and Voodoo already owns the other two possum customs that I've made and she really loves clowns and stuff like that so this is a very very fitting custom from her. I cannot wait to see her reaction to it. I also love the fact that I got the heart shape kind of on the face and I also did a little upside down heart shape on the neck. And my favorite part of this custom is definitely the eyes. I think that they turned out really cool. This custom was for part of a trade with Halo's LPS over on Instagram. This was another mood board trade. So over here is the mood board that she sent me. Basically for this trade idea, we wanted to do something Dungeons and Dragons inspired. So we came up with a D&D class for each other and then found a mood board sort of based on that to give a little bit more inspiration for the custom. So this is what I ended up going with. I definitely wanted to incorporate more blues that I don't think the mood board had, but I really, really love this one. I especially love the green base color that I used. It's a new paint that I got. I think it's a really pretty color. As for sculpting, I sculpted these antlers. I decided to add these antlers because I thought they fit with the mood board, but also because Halo puts a lot of antlers like this on her customs, and I thought that it would just look cool in her collection like that. It also has these flowers here on the front and back of the head, which were sculpted using a mold. And then right here, there's like a belt with a bow and arrow arrow quiver that I sculpted as well. And then here is the bow and arrow right here, which looks kind of bad, but I think it's all right. And the reason why this character has a bow and arrow is because the class that Halo chose for me to use is a ranger, and basically rangers are like fighters who use bow and arrows primarily. I've never played a ranger before. Honestly, I kind of think they're like the lamest class, if I'm gonna be completely honest, but I had a lot of fun with this custom, and I wanted to incorporate more of a natural element to it because I thought that the mood board also had a lot of greens and naturey stuff like that, so I think that this character would probably be a ranger druid multi-class. But yeah, overall, I love this custom a lot. I'm really happy with the design that I came up with, and I also love the two different colored eyes. I think it's very, very cute. And here's what the bottom looks like with some bright green paws. But yeah, I really hope that Halo likes it. If you want to see the custom that she made for me, you can go watch my unboxing video of it. So this is a trade that I did with Yeti's Dollverse. Finally, we have been wanting to do a custom trade together for such a long time, and this trade just took a long time in general because we both got really busy with life and stuff like that. But the trade is finally done, so this is the custom that I made for them, and I am so freaking happy with it, and I'm so sad that I do not get to keep him, so let's all bask in his glory. I absolutely love making gory customs, and I love putting a cartoony spin on my customs, and I, of course, did both of those things with this guy, as you can see. Originally, I was just going to go for that full, realistic gore look, but when I was painting the eyes, I decided to give him sort of a cartoony expression and add all of these lines around his face, and there's even some on his body as well, just to add some more texture, and even on the tongue, you can really see that there as well. So, unlike other trades I've done in the past, you know, normally we do a mood board trade where people send each other a mood board and base a custom off of that. But for this one, we decided to send each other a song to base the custom off of. So this is the song that Yeti sent me. I have never heard the song before, and right off the bat, I definitely got like gore and body horror vibes from it. So I was like, okay, I already know that Yeti loves that stuff anyway, so I have to do something like that with this custom. So this is what I came up with. I really thought of the idea of like, you know, a stomach or something with teeth in it. So I turned this guy's stomach into a big mouth, and he's just sort of like an amalgamation of all these different things and he has like a pained expression that's just sort of the vibes that i got from the song i guess so let's talk about the custom itself how i made it it is a head swap between a great dane head and a basset hound body i have so many loose great dane heads lying around so i'm glad that i was finally able to find a use for one of them and then of course i cut the body in half and i added this big lump of clay in between it and i love the way that it looks like on the bottom i also gave him some pause of course but yeah i put that there to connect the two pieces i had this other random great dane mouth so I took that off and glued it on this side and then of course he has the big mouth on this side with the tongue and the teeth and when I do these customs I actually put real fake blood sealed into the customs as well along with the paint and he has a mouth or something with a bunch of teeth going on on his head as well which also kind of looks like a mohawk which I think is cool and then something else that I do with this custom is I just randomly put super glue in a bunch of places which adds a bunch of unique texture you can kind of see that there on his neck and you can especially see it like here or even on the back of the head this is all like random super glue that I just put on for texture and I think that's something that
something that really helps add just a little bit more detail to gory customs. But yeah, this guy looks absolutely awesome on camera and he looks even cooler in real life. I'm so excited for Yeti to finally receive this custom and I cannot wait for the package that they're sending me. Of course, I will have an unboxing video of that up on my channel already and Yeti will also have an unboxing video of this guy on their channel. So if you want to see their reaction, I will put both of those in the description and in the little card up here. But yeah, I will miss this guy very, very much, but I'm so glad that he is going to a very good friend of mine and a great home. This is my first time ever painting a G4 owl base, and this is a custom for my grandparents because my grandma really likes owls, so I decided to use this base because I thought that it would make a cute little custom, and I think that the custom version definitely looks a lot cuter than the normal LPS. The LPS is kind of scary, but I painted it to be a snowy owl. I've made a snowy owl custom before, but I have never used this base, so I sort of did a mix between a realistic style and a cartoony style on this one because I just thought that the cartoony style fit the position of the base figure and its little happy expression and overall I really love it and I'm really really happy with the way that the eyes look. They're super glossy and I just think they look super vibrant and adorable. This custom looks absolutely wild from the front but it is a custom made from a generation 3 llama base and we all know the G3 LPS look crazy but I actually think this base figure is pretty cute as long as you don't look at it like this but from the side I think it's adorable. So this was a custom and that I made for my grandma as a Christmas gift because she really loves llamas and I made her a llama custom before so I wanted to make another one and I decided to go with this one. It's got some very shiny eyes and it's very cute. So the bottom looks like nothing too special. I'm thinking about giving it like a little blanket to put on its back but I haven't done that yet. I am very very happy with the way that this custom came out. This one is a Christmas gift for my dad of a character called Felix the Cat. You probably have no idea who this is because he's a pretty old character but basically my dad has this figure a Felix that's always on his desk so I decided to make an LPS custom version of him so here's a little comparison he's just like this cartoon cat I honestly don't know too much about the character but I know that he's cool so this is a head swap custom obviously it is a head swap of one of the like paw up licking cats but it was a sticker ride pet and I cut off its tongue and added some clay so that I could paint on this open mouth and I know a lot of people don't like sticker ride pets me included but for customs I think they're awesome because you can do really fun stuff like this and I'm super happy with the way that his face turned out and then I also sculpted some cheek fluff on the side and all the sculpting here on the face is done with epoxy sculpt and he also has this tail which is sculpted with Nita tight I believe and then his little bag of tricks is also sculpted with Nita tight and originally I was going to make that separate but in the end I just decided to glue it onto his hand so it's more recognizably Felix instead of just some random little cartoon cat and I think that was a good choice and I think it was really cute and the body is from one of the standing panda LPS which that LPS is super ugly but I absolutely love their bodies especially for customs like this and again so happy with the way that this dude turned out and I am very proud of all of the little designs especially his mouth as well I think that's probably my favorite part this is my second time making a custom of Sylveon and this custom is a Christmas present for my brother and the previous Sylveon custom that I've made was a birthday gift for my brother because Sylveon is his favorite Pokemon and he's super super into Pokemon right now so I decided to make another one here is the old Sylveon custom that I made it's also several years old so this one is also sort of a remake to see the improvement I think this one's definitely better the colors are a lot cleaner and more accurate and overall I just think this one is a lot cuter. The reason why I decided to use this sticker eyed triplet bunny base figure is because I realized that these bases look a lot like Eevee. I actually made an Eevee custom from a similar base like this before, which has also been given to my brother. So I thought, hey, I would make Sylveon. So this is sort of like a little baby Sylveon. And I think it's super, super cute. Again, with the sticker eyed LPS, as LPS, they're not really amazing. But for customs, I think they're absolutely perfect, especially for things like this that have different eyes or eyes that are oddly shaped that might not work on a molded eye. You can really just paint whatever you want and I'm pretty proud of how symmetrical the shapes are I mean, it's not the cleanest eyes in the world because I don't have any of my good brushes with me when I painted this one But I still think it's pretty cute and then of course as for sculpting I just sculpted her little ribbons There's the one on the head and the one on the body that sort of flows around to the back I could have sculpted more but those are the only two things that I decided to sculpt because I was in a bit of a crunch to get this done before Christmas But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one and I think that it is very very cute and I love using these bases for Eevee customs so hopefully in the future I'll be able to make more Eevees and more Eeveelutions. This custom is part of a trade that I'm doing with my friend LPS Rosie, who's over on Instagram. This is the first time that we have ever done a trade before, but she does already own a couple customs from me. So basically for this trade, there were no parameters for it. We basically just decided to make something that would be a surprise for each other and something that we thought that we would both like. So something that fit our aesthetics or something like that. But I decided to make this cute little puppy because Rosie really likes, you know, like a girly aesthetic with a lot of bright colors and things 
like that. So I came up with this. I only sculpted these two little hair strands on the side and then the bow, but the bow was sculpted using a mold. And then I also did a head swap for this custom. So it is a husky puppy head on a Dalmatian body, which I think looks extremely adorable. The neck did get a little bit messed up there when it was sealing, unfortunately, and I don't really have time to fix it because I have to give it to her today, but I'm going over to her house and we are trading the customs in person, so I think that will be really fun. But yeah, I think the design turned out really cute. I love all the colors. I love the eyes, and of course it also has these cute little paw pads on the bottom. It's got some dark pink ones and some dark blue ones, and yeah, I just kind of went with a cutesy heart motif here, and I know Rosie really likes the color pink, I like the color blue better, so I decided to go with a blue base and then added the details to be pink. But yeah, I think that shirt turned out really cute, so I hope that Rosie likes it. This custom was part of a trade with Blur LPS over on Instagram. It is a character that they made up. Here is the reference sheet that they sent me. I think that the custom is so, so cool. Mine definitely turned out a little bit darker than the ref, but they said they didn't mind, so I appreciate that. But normally when I do custom trades, it's usually a custom for a custom or sometimes a custom for LPS, but this one is actually totally different. I traded this custom for two Funko Pops that I was looking for. If you don't know, I'm an avid Funko Pop collector. I have over 300 and I have been looking for the season one version of Nancy from Stranger Things for a really long time and Blur reached out to me saying that they had it and were willing to trade it or sell it to me. So I offered making a commission, so to speak, for the Funko Pop and they also sent me the Barb one from season one as well, which I also didn't have. So I really, really appreciate that. So this was the custom that I made sort of as payment for it. As you can see, is a head swap between a golden retriever head and a collie body which is a great head swap it has no sculpted parts but definitely a lot of details in the paint job i think that is so so cute i definitely love the ears looking at them now i think that's probably my favorite part it's like a little chocolate waterfall but i also love the eyes as well i love the eye color and i love the eye shape it's always really fun to play around with different shapes in the eyes for customs that's something that i've actually had the chance to do a lot recently which i think is really cool and then of course the heart on her face is also very very cute and then the sort of chocolatey theme continues throughout the body lots of little like, swirly swoopy shapes and yeah i think it's a very cool design i had a lot of fun working on it here's the pause on the bottom blur if you're watching this thank you again so much for being patient with me this custom took way longer than it should have but it's finally done and i am so excited for you to receive my end of the trade these next two customs were part of a very very special trade with my friend Liv, aka umbrella cats over on instagram we did a trade back in december and she made me a custom of spider gwen and also sent me a bunch of extra little things and some regular lps that we traded there's an unboxing video of that up on my channel if you want to go check it out but I finally finished my end of the trade, so I'm ready to now send it to Liv. I made her two customs, one of Katniss and one of Peeta from the Hunger Games series, mostly inspired by their book designs as opposed to the movie designs, which was a lot of fun. I used to be super into Hunger Games, and I'm surprised that I honestly never made customs of the characters before. So I'm gonna start off with Katniss because I finished her first. So here she is. Liv originally wanted me to use a short hair cat base, but I was like, hey, I have this idea that I think would be really cute. So it is a crouching cat head on a paw up licking cat body and I did this because I want to make her a little mini bow and arrow but as of recording this I haven't done that yet so we'll see if I actually do it but I just think that this base looks so cool and I love the way this custom turned out I sculpted her clothes the little tiny mockingjay pin which I'm very proud of I think it looks great and then her hair her hair is very simple it just has these two pieces on the front and then her braid on the back I didn't want to go too too crazy and then her hair color her skin color and her eye color were all inspired by the book description Liv sent me a bunch of drawing references and stuff like that to inspire fire these customs. I also love the way her freckles turned out. I think that that is a very, very adorable little touch, and I had a lot of fun adding that as well. So now on to Peta. He is made from an ear up collie base. I wanted to do the same freckles on him as Katniss just to tie them together a little bit more, and their eye style is the same as well. Of course, both of them have eyebrows. I love adding eyebrows on custom. And then his hair is also a similar style, sculpted on the front, just painted on the back, and he's got his clothes as well. Their clothes are just black because I didn't really know how else to paint them, so sorry, that's kind of boring, but but overall, I think that they both look really cute, and I hope that I captured their personalities pretty well. But I'm very, very excited to finally send my part of the trade to Liv. This has been a trade in the making for such a long time, so of course, if you haven't seen my unboxing video of what she sent me already, definitely go and check that out. I am honestly obsessed with this custom. This custom was part of a trade with this person over on Instagram. If you want to see what they sent me in the trade, I will put my unboxing video up in the cards so you can go and check it out. But basically, for the custom, they provided me with this sort of mood board picture 
collage thingy and then it just let me do whatever I wanted with the custom. So I had sort of a different idea in mind at first but then I went with more of this like full-on leopard design and I really really loved it so I just decided to lean in with that and stick to it as best as I could. The only other requirements that they wanted me to do was give it to these little teardrop eyes and then maybe add some scars. So that is exactly what I did and I am just obsessed with the color palette of this guy. I think he is so so cute and I love it so much especially with the bright green eyes. He's so pretty and all the spots are really fun to paint as well. I definitely procrastinated on this custom for a while but now that it is done I am so so happy with the final result. And finally I have two customs to show you guys. These are part of a trade with LPS Ashy over on Instagram. We've honestly been wanting to do a trade together for a really really long time and we finally got the chance to do so. So I traded her both of these customs and some other random little things for a bunch of normal LPS and of course when I receive the package from her I will be doing an unboxing video up on my channel. But let's talk about these customs starting off with this bowl here. So as you can see this is made from a bowl base. It's a G7 bowl so this is another one of my very first G7 customs which was a lot of fun to make. I absolutely love the way that this one turned out. This is Ashy's original design. This is the reference photo that she shared with me. We kind of collaborated on this one a little bit. She came with the design and then I suggested you know adding freckles things like that and then of course translating it into my own style and into this LPS base because it's drawn on a G4 bowl base. But anyways this one does have a few sculpted parts. I sculpted these flowers here on the hair and there's also one in the tail here. Those are sculpted using a mold and then I also sculpted the fluff inside both of the ears, the fluff on the chest and all of the legs, and the little bandana. And the design on the bandana is inspired by the actual LPS bandana accessories which I had a lot of fun painting that as well. It was really difficult because the designs are so tiny but I'm really really happy with the way that it came out and I just love all of the colors on this custom. I think she is so pretty. And then the eyes are in an LPS style as well but they have little flowers in them which is super cute and then the horns and the hooves are glossy along with the eyes. Here is what the bottom looks like and then of course let's talk about the second custom. So here is the second custom that Ashi I guess commissioned from me even though this was technically part of a trade. This was the other reference photo that she sent me and this is a very interesting custom because first off it is a head swap. It is a G7 anteater head and a G2 armadillo body but I had to cut off the shell of the armadillo and the armadillo tail and I also cut off like the hair that the anteaters have as well. This was the aftermath of when I destroyed both of those bases so this is very much like a trust the process sort of thing but I'm so happy with the way that this one came out and this is supposed to be a type of animal called a pangolin which is is sort of like an armadillo but they're also a little bit different. So I just thought this was such a creative idea. Ashy really loves exotic animals and wanting me to transform them into little pet shops so I had a lot of fun with this one. This one definitely has more sculpting than the bull. Well I guess it's not that much more. It was it was more complicated to sculpt but I guess in the end it was probably the same amount of clay but I sculpted all of the spines here on the head and then along with the body and the tail too. So all these dark brown details were sculpted on and then she also has a little flower here which was used with the same mold as the bowl back here and then she has some little flower patterns on her. I also sculpted the claws because pangolins have some pretty long claws but yeah I just think that this custom is literally so cute and the head swap was a really really smart idea so props to Ashy for that and here's what the bottom looks like. The bottom of this one's feet is a little bit messy just because of how I sculpted the claws I wanted to reinforce them with some super glue and it got a little messed up but it's fine because it's the bottom so you don't even notice and then this one also has LPS styled eyes as well and this was my first time using an anteater LPS. And I also think that these customs look very, very cute together. And Ashy is an LPS photographer, so don't only go and check out her Instagram. I am sure she'll be posting photos of these customs over on there, and I'm very, very excited to see them. But anyways, Ashy, thank you so much for trading with me. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope that we can do it again soon in the future. And there you have it, guys. I know this was definitely a longer one, but I think there's a lot of you guys who enjoy watching these videos. And I've gotten a bunch of comments saying that people just like to put this kind of thing on in the background, listen to me ramble about my customs. So I figured a longer video would help help with that. As always, let me know down below in the comments which of these guys was your favorite, and I will see you all super, super soon with another video. Bye!